After six evictions and one medical emergency, it all comes down to this. Welcome to the finale episode of Webkin's Big Brother. Welcome to the Webkin's Big Brother finale episode. Tonight, three lucky house guests have made it to the final three, and one of them will walk away with a 500,000 Kins Cash prize. Will it be Marissa, the genius with an IQ of 148 with a Broadway background and seven kids? Or will it be Jeremy, the pastor of the waterfall in Furryville? Or will it be Bluey? who swam his way in to the final three. We'll find out in due time. This is Webkin's Big Brother. Previously on Webkin's Big Brother. In light of Tomato's eviction. Tomato, you were evicted from the Webkin's Big Brother house. The final four were in place. They battled it out for the head of household. And Bluey came to power. Congratulations, Bluey. He then nominated the double threat. I have nominated you, Pete, and you, Lana. Fearing their alliance was in jeopardy. We were nominated. Marissa and Pete sought out to get Jeremy out of the game. We need to go out there and win that veto. But at the veto competition, it seemed like all hope was lost. Bluey, you have won the power of veto. Despite her best efforts to get the veto used on her, would you like to ensure my safety? I don't know about that. Marissa needed to have a little talking to with Jeremy. In the event that Pete and I are the nominees at the end of the week, I was wondering if you would, uh, perhaps keep me safe. At the veto ceremony, Bluey decided to keep the nominees in place. I've decided not to use the power of veto. Jeremy was left as the sole vote to evict, and he had to choose who to take with him and Bluey to the final three. But an explosive blow up with Marissa, you have antagonized me this whole game, made Jeremy change his plans. I think Marissa may be a big threat next week, and I want the target off of me. At the end of the night, Pete ran short of the final three. I have decided to vote to evict Pete. Tonight, who will win the final head of household of the summer? And who will they take with them to the final two? Plus, the jury meets up to talk about the finalists. And at the end of the night, they vote for the winner. Then, who did you choose as your favorite house guest to return next season? It all starts right now on Webkin's Big Brother. Good evening, I'm Sally. Welcome to Webkin's Big Brother. Before we begin tonight, I'd like to let everyone know that Sleepy has returned and is here tonight with us to cast her vote towards the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. Can I get a big round of applause for Sleepy? I'm so happy to be back. Um, I was in the hospital. I'm okay, guys. It's now time to begin the final three-part head of household competition for the finale episode. All three house guests will compete tonight in part one of the head of household competition. The winner of that will advance immediately to round three later tonight. 
The losers of that round will face off in round two to decide who the winner of round one will go up against in round three. You'll find out a little more about that later tonight. Let's join the house guests. Hello, house guests. It's now time for the finale to commence. First of all, a huge congratulations to all three of you for making it to the final three. Thank you. The fun is not over yet. It's now time to begin part one of tonight's Head of Household competition. Hello, house guests. Hi. It's now time for the Head of Household competition to begin. The winner of this round will immediately advance to round three later tonight. It's now time to play What the Bleep. And here's how it works. I will show you a series of clips of evicted or current house guests saying phrases. I will suggest an option for what they might have said. You will answer true or false. You will all be on a point system, and after eight clips, the winner will be the one with the most points. Does everyone understand? Yeah! yeah. Well then let's play What the Bleep. But Jeremy, I think yeah. that you should me. True or false? The bleeped word was keep. The correct answer was true. I think yeah. that you should keep me. All of you got it right. All of you get a point. Question two. I should not be campaigning against my husband. So, Bluey, you. That's all. I know what my wife said. True or false? The bleeped word was thank. So, Bluey, I love you. The correct answer was false. Bluey, Jeremy, you both got a point. Here is clip number three. Thank you all for such an amazing I hope you vote the way you see fit. True or false? The bleeped word was experience. Let's find out the correct answer. Thank you all for such an amazing experience. The correct answer was true, which means Marissa, Jeremy, you both get points. It's now time for clip four. When you get out of this house, Pete, I'm going to be standing there you. True or false? The bleeped word or words was beating. Let's see what Birdo said. Beat. I'm gonna be standing there waiting for you. The correct answer was false. So, Bluey, Jeremy, you both get points. Here is clip number five. Tess, you are the one that James, and James happened to be in an alliance with me. True or false? The bleeped words were took out. Let's see what Marissa said. The one that got out James. The correct answer was false. All of you got it wrong, none of you get a point. You know, I tend to have a keen eye for other people, but always forget about myself. Clip six. And I think it would be a shame if you voted to evict me over this You know, they made my clip sound a little, uh, kindly, you know, inappropriate, but uh, I know what I said. True or false? The bleeped words were, Big threat. Let's see what Jeremy said. And I think it would be a shame if you voted to evict me over this big threat. The correct answer was true, which means Jeremy, you are the only one to get a point for this round. Let's roll clip number seven. Well, house guest, it's been a f getting to know all of you. True or false? Tomato said, great time. Let's see what Tomato said. Well, house guest, it's been a pleasure getting to know all of you. The correct answer was false, so Bluey, you were the only one to get a point. This is the final question. If need be, we will move on to a tiebreaker. Clip number eight. All of you. True or false? The bleeped words were, I hate. Let's see what Birdo said. I hate all of you. The correct answer was true, which means Congratulations, Jeremy! You have won part one of tonight's Head of Household! Hello, house guests! Congratulations, Jeremy, on winning part one of tonight's Head of Household competition. In just a little bit, Bluey and Marissa will face off to see who you will go against in part three later tonight. Good luck, house guests. So, it seems like the Webkins are every house guest for him or herself, but is a final two deal brewing? So long, Nick. I kind of wanted to talk to you about something. And what's that? Well, first of all, I want to say I really respect your game and the way you've played it. You are one of the most amazing strategists I've ever seen. And I would like to take you with me to the final two. And I wanted to know if you could honor that in my favor as well. Well, Jeremy, as you would say, I'm not making any promises, but I'm sure we can work something out. 
I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to offend you when I said that in the past. I have worked too far to get where I am, to lose to you. You, you, you think you'd lose to me? Uh, yes, yes I do, Jeremy. I know that if I went to the final two with Jeremy, I would beat his behind. So, uh, that's why you don't want to make a deal with me. That is kindly why. Well, I'm starting to understand your language. Uh, well, it's a truce, Long Nick. Truce. So, I'm just sitting around alone. I'm pretty bored. There's really no deals to make for me. So, I just decided to start talking to the cameras. I don't know who I'm going to take to the final two. I think Longneck deserves it more, and Jeremy appears to be America's favorite from the prize he got. So I think I might take Longneck. She has played a very well game, so I'm not sure. And her alliance members would definitely back her up. I don't know. It gets lonely in here when you're alone. I'll be out soon. Hopefully with the money. Thank you, America. Hey, hey there, Bluey. How you doing? You know, first and foremost, I, I want to apologize for the way I acted to you the other day. It was really rude. That's all right, Long Neck. I know it's nothing personal. If I'm being honest with you, that entire night was just a big game move, Bluey. Wow. I had no idea. It's very smart of you, Long Neck. Yes, yeah, so I never had any ill intentions towards you, Bluey. I appreciate that. Thank you. Let's cut to the chase. Want to make a final two deal? I really like how straightforward this conversation is with Long Neck, and I might actually consider her deal. Well, you're really all I got left. I, I so know. The only answer is yes. No, I know. That's the that that's what's happening. Little does Bluey know, I am actually very serious about this deal. I think that he deserves it as much as I do. So, who will win part two of the head of household competition? Bluey or Marissa? It's time to find out. Hello, house guests. It's now time for part two of tonight's head of household competition. This competition is called All Caged Up. And here's how it works. You will be locked inside this cage and you will have to squeeze your way out. The fastest webkins to do this will be the winner of part two of the head of household competition. Bluey, Marissa, do you understand? Yes. yes. Then let's begin. Bluey, you're up first. So going into this second part of the head of household competition, I think I definitely have a bit of advantage due to my size. All right, Bluey, your time starts now. So I'm trying to find the best hole to get out of, and I think I finally found it. And Bluey has made it out. Well done, Bluey. It's now Marissa's turn. Marissa, your time starts now. So even though I am bigger than Bluey, I feel confident enough that because I got to watch Bluey do it before I, I might could beat him. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Ah. oh, goodness. So basically, I'm having a hard time. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ah. I am victorious. Thank you, Marissa. Well done. It's now time to reveal to you, America, and our live audience who won part two of the head of household competition. If everyone will please turn their attention to the screen. Marissa's time was five minutes and 31 seconds. Remember, you need the shortest time to win. Bluey's time was two minutes and 43 seconds, which means congratulations, Bluey. With a time of two minutes and 43 seconds, you have won part two of tonight's head of household and will face off against Jeremy at the end of the night. Just a few nights ago, 
The jury met in the jury house to discuss the final three and who they think should win. Let's listen in. Hey guys, it's me, Spot, and I am here to host the jury roundtable discussion. So, all of you have sadly been evicted from the game, but there is a lot to talk about. Now, we know all of you are here, and we're also really glad Sleepy's here. I'm glad I can make it. And uh, we want to know, who is the seventh juror that's going to join us tonight? We know Pete, Marissa, Bluey, and Jeremy are all still in the game, but one of them is about to join us for this discussion. Any guesses? I think it's going to be Pete. I hate to say it to you, but I really hope that it's Bluey. Well, let's find out. Out who juror number seven is. Hello. Wow. Oh, I'm so wow. surprised, man. Yeah. I really. Yeah, I got taken out by Bluey. Aha, uh -huh, that's our guy. So, guys, let's get right down to business. Who do we think, out of the remaining Webkins left, deserves to win the most? Well, now that Pete's gone, I think any of them deserve it. Let's hear from Ross. Well, you know, having been a previous winner, I would like to say that I think Bluey deserves it the most, but I think if Longneck won, that would be a decision we can all respect. You know, man, I, I agree, I agree. You know, Pete and I were in the Triple Threat Alliance with her. I personally think think Marissa played a conniving, malicious game. Isn't that a bit, yeah, extreme? You're one to talk. Oh, that's right, that's right. We heard about your blow up, Tomato. She is a woman. She has times. I understand explosions. Well, let's address Jeremy a little bit. Why do you, why do you think he might deserve to win? Jeremy's a super nice guy. I really like him. He really hasn't played that aggressive of a game. That's a strategy, Pete. You know? I was about to say, he had a very great social game, and uh, I don't think he deserves it as much as Long Neck. Well, I think it's safe to say we've got a tough decision on our hands. Uh, hey there, Bluey. Hey, Jeremy. You know, uh, since my plan didn't work with Long Neck, I thought I might as well try Bluey. I was thinking, and you are just astounding. Two HOHs this season, and you're just quite the competitor. Now, I am an honest man, and I did talk to Long Neck, but things didn't really smooth over well with her, so I was wondering if uh, you'd like to make a final two deal. I could lie to Jeremy and tell him that I'll take him to the final two, but I'm a man of my word, and I'm not going to lie this far into the game. Jeremy, I really like you, and I think you're a really good guy. And I definitely want to hang out with you after this house a bit. But um, I'm going to be honest, I have a final two deal with Long Neck. Things are starting to make sense. Well, I do want to warn you that Marissa can talk her way in with that jury. And I know evil when I see it. I don't know about evil. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what evil is. I'm starting to feel in danger. I'm thinking I need to win this final head of household competition if I am going to make it to the final two. Hello, house guests. Hey, Sally. Hmm. It's now time for the final part of tonight's head of household competition, and it is an optical course. One at a time, you will begin at the top of this ramp, run down, past the gate, and over the hill. You will be locked in the cage and have to climb out of it. Run under and over and under again this tray. Then jump onto the hood of this car all the way to the other side where you ring the bell. The fastest Webkins will be the final head of household of the summer. Jeremy, you're up first. Your time starts now. You know, the wind starts blowing and I'm in this cage and this is going to be a little harder than I thought. Oh, oh, Lord help. Oh, there. Oh, my back. Under. Over. Right under. And here we go. Here we go. I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it in good time with my God. Lord, redeem the time. Lord, redeem the time for the days that we're living in. I'm almost there. I made it. All right, Bluey. It's your turn. Squeeze! Oh. Okay, first is under, then back over, then under again. I'm making good time. It's now time to find out who won. 
part three of tonight's Head of Household competition. Remember, the house guest with the shortest time will win the Head of Household, guaranteeing them a spot in the final two. Please turn your attention to the screen. Bluey's time on the obstacle course was 32 seconds. If Jeremy's time is over, he is not HOH. If he is under, he will beat Bluey. Jeremy's time was 45 seconds, which means congratulations, Bluey. You are the final head of household of the summer. I'm so ecstatic that I just won the final head of household. This means I'm guaranteed a spot in the final two. I just feel like these competitions weren't my forte, but thankfully they were Bluey's. And Bluey and I made a final two deal. With Bluey as the final head of household, Marissa and Jeremy are scrambling for a spot next to him. Hey there, Bluey. I just thought I'd try to talk to you again. Jeremy, I really respect that, and obviously I have a ton to think about. I, I can't say anything definite. Of course, of course. I want to make a deal. Whatever happens, friends. Friends. Yeah, see you around. Oh, hey there, Bluey. What are you doing in this room? I was just coming in here to relax. Really? Okay, as I said, I'm an honest woman. Bluey, are you planning on honoring our final two deal? Obviously, something so big like that, I can't just say yes. It's it's a big option. Well, Bluey, I respect what you do, and uh, do what's best for your game, all right? Thank you. And we'll battle it out like Webkins if we are the final two. As winner of the final Head of Household of the Night, Bluey now must choose who to take with him to the final two. Hello, house guests. Hey. It is now time for Bluey to choose who he is going to take with him to the final two. Jeremy, Marissa, both of you are by default nominated for eviction. Before Bluey casts his vote to evict, you will each have one final chance to plead your case to Bluey as to why he should take you to the final two. Well, Bluey, I just want to say thank you for all the good times. I'm hoping that we can be BFFs afterwards, if you know what I mean. No matter what happens, both of you, I love you. Let's be friends. Thank you, Jeremy. Marissa, you're up. This is a very important night for me. Now, you know I have seven kids at home. This is one of my dreams. I have played an astounding game, I think, and I think it would be a shame if you didn't take me to the final two. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you both. It's now time for Bluey to stand at the head of the room and cast his vote to evict. Bluey. I've thought long and hard about this decision, and I have enjoyed being with you both in this game, and I hope that we can all remain friends outside of the house and hang out together. With that being said, I did have a final two deal with Longneck. Sorry, my brother Jeremy, but I vote to evict you. <laughs> It's official. Jeremy, you are the last person to be evicted from the Lincoln's Big Brother house. Oh, I'm gonna miss you guys. No hard feelings. I'll see you. Hello, Jeremy! Hey there, hey there, Sally. Well, there is absolutely no shame in coming third place this year. How does it feel? Well, you know, I, I understand Louis' decision. I feel like I should have uh, tried a little bit harder in that final HOH competition, but... Just wasn't my thing. I hope I've promoted my church a little. Well, we sure hope so. You are going to join the other jurors right now. You can just cross behind me and you will help crown the winner in just a moment. Thank you so much, Bluey. Well, after a very long battle of endurance, strength, and strategy, it's now time for Webkin's Big Brother Season 1 to come to an end. In just a few moments, the jurors will enter a secluded area and cast their votes for who will be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. But before they do, each of the final two contestants will have a chance to plead their case to the jury. Let's join them now. Hello, house guests. Hi. Hey. It's now time for the winner to be crowned. The jurors are standing right out here with me and they can see you on a live video monitor. It's now time for you both to plead your case to all of them. The jurors will be voting for the Webkins they would like to see win. 
Members of the jury, I am very happy to be sitting here today in the final two and the fact that I'm here, even though I walked in with a big sneaker target on my back, I think that really says something about me. I just think that this is a really great opportunity and I'm so glad that I had it no matter what happens. Members of the jury, I want you to know that this is a dream of a lifetime. I'm not sure if I'll ever get a chance to do this again, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. I want all of you to know that the game I played might have been a backstabbing game. But then again, what is Webkin's Big Brother after all? I believe that I deserve this. Thank you. Thank you, Marissa. Thank you both. It's now time for the jurors to enter the secluded area and cast their votes for whom they want to win the game. I'll be back shortly. It's now time to crown a winner. The jury has just, as we speak, voted. And it is now time to review their votes on the television. If everyone will please turn their attention, we will begin reading the jury's votes. America, in episode three, you voted for your top five favorite house guests. And collectively, you have voted one vote for the winner of Weapons Big Brother. America's vote goes to Marissa to be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. Ross's vote goes to Bluey to be the winner. Tess's vote goes to Bluey. Pete's vote goes to Marissa to be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. We are tied two apiece. Tomatoes vote goes to, no surprise here, Bluey to be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. James has cast his vote for Marissa to be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. It is three votes apiece. You need five to win. Jeremy has cast his vote for Marissa to be the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. Four votes Marissa, three votes Bluey. Sleepy has cast her vote for Marissa, which means congratulations, Marissa. You are the winner of Webkin's Big Brother. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, Bluey, 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 Bluey. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is a dream come true. So much Bluey. I love everyone. I love everyone that's ever played this game. Let's go see Sally. Let's go see Sally. Congratulations, Marissa. How does it feel? I am in absolute shock, Sally. I am in absolute shock. Absolute. Well, all of these jurors voted for you. Let's see Bluey come on out. Hello, Bluey. Hi. Congratulations on the second place. Thank Both you. of you absolutely stunning games. Amazing games. I would like to thank my seven kids, uh, my Broadway community, my husband, Oscar, my mother, uh, everyone back at home, all of the jurors, thank you so much. This is a dream come true. Thank you, America, for your vote towards me. I could not have done this without you. Well, we are very happy for you, Marissa. You can go take a seat with the rest of your housemates, get to know them again. It's been a while. Absolutely. Also, everyone, for the record, Birdo's vote was cast towards... Marissa to be the winner. So, Long Neck, you won six to three. Congratulations. So, it may seem like the game's over, but there's one thing that the house guests did not know about and one more prize at stake. Marissa, you have won the 500,000 Kins Cash prize. Bluey, you have won the 50,000 Kins Cash prize. The next house guest will win 25,000 Kins Cash and will return to the game next season. It's now time to find out who was America's favorite house guest. The winner of America's favorite house guest was Jeremy, congratulations. Oh, skinny go no, oh my lord. Oh. Thank you to everyone who voted for me. Thank you for my guardian angels that one week. Uh, thank you, Sally. Thank you, Weapons Big Brother, everyone. I will be back next season to play, and I cannot wait. And uh, I hope everyone comes to my church. The Waterfall in Furraville, everyone. Again, the Waterfall in Furraville. Thank you, everyone. Uh, now, Sally, it has been a pleasure. 
Well, it's been a wild season inside the Webkin's Big Brother house. Webkin's Big Brother Season 2 will be in production soon. Thank you for watching Webkin's Big Brother. I'll see you on the outside. Good night.